This is video number 553. Your panties reveal your inner heart. I'm single. Let's start there. So getting dressed in the morning, then selecting either my sexy lingerie, lace pink panties, or select selecting my motivational, super comfortable cotton panties is only for myself. It got me thinking, is there a link between our underwear and the condition of our heart? God promises us that He is the person that searches our heart. The world sees our jewelry, our dresses and our shoes, but very few people know if we are wearing panties with hole in them or sexy, new, lacy lingerie. Is it the same with the inner chambers of our hearts? What is the condition of your panties and what is the condition of your heart? People can see your good deeds, can see you sitting in front of, in front in the church, bring the reverend chocolate chip cookies. But what is going on behind closed door? What is the evil forebodings that you foster in your heart? My advice and guidance that I would like to offer you daily, when you decide whether you're going to wear the six, sexy, lacy pink lingerie or the comfortable cotton granny panties, please say a little prayer to God. Please God, search my heart. If there is any evil lurking in the dark corners of my heart, please pour in your heavenly domestos and clean these evil thoughts. I only want to grow love and peace and joy in my heart for you. What the heart is full of, the mouth will fountain over. Please Lord, let my fountain be filled with sparkling water, with life-giving qualities. Let it be filled with rose champagne, handing out love and good celebration times to everyone I meet. Maybe if you have a problem with this concept, I would love to give you further guidance. Go and buy yourself some sexy pink lingerie. And every time when you wear these six sexy lingerie, it is as a prophetic gesture to God to please, please, please come and search your heart. I wore torn panties for several months just due to the fact that I was living in fear that God will not be able to provide for me. So I bumped buying new panties several times to the bottom of my to-do list as if it was not a necessity. As I said, I'm single so no one will know. But the torn panties gave up several different discussions randomly. I know, <clears throat> no, knew it was God addressing the issue. I'm a princess after all, I deserve the best and he is Jehovah Jireh after all and he knows how to take care of me. So I walked into a Mr. Price recently, also godly orchestrated, because I had a meeting with my love guru that afternoon and he was running late. So I had to kill some time and I know I also needed new work shoes. In the store the announcement was made, today is the day of three for the price of two special. I knew this moment was for me. I walked around to the underwear department selecting the pinkest panty packet of panties and every day that week I selected one of my new five panties looking forward to the message on the panties. Some of them had hearts on so it felt like my love tank will be full today. One had the words on just chilling. My prayer journey for February was a year or a life filled with peace. So this pan panty feels like my prayers are answered. The Bible also instructs us to close ourselves with Christ. What if we start more from the inside out, from our inner heart chambers working our way out? I recently listened to one of Rob Bell's podcasts about everything as a temple, where he instructed that based on that saying that we can literally transform every single moment into a holy moment, into something special. May you too see that every moment has the potentiality that is pregnant with being a holy, sacred moment, even if it is by selecting your panties.